as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 105, one-to-one -one witnessing for, April 7th. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3:16. Why are not all who claim to love God seeking to enlighten their neighbors and their associates, that they may no longer neglect this great salvation? Christ gave himself to a shameful, agonizing death, showing his great travail of soul to save the perishing. Oh, Christ is able, Christ is willing, Christ is longing to save all who will come unto him. Talk to souls in peril and get them to behold Jesus upon the cross dying to make it possible for him to pardon. Talk to the sinner with your own heart overflowing with the tender pitying love of Christ. Let there be deep earnestness, but not a harsh loud note should be heard from the one who is trying to win the soul to look and live. First, have your own soul consecrated to God. As you look upon our intercessor in heaven, let your heart be broken. Then, softened and subdued, you can address repenting sinners as one who realizes the power of redeeming love. Pray with these souls. By faith, bring them to the foot of the cross. Carry their minds up with your mind and fix the eye of faith where you look upon Jesus, the sin-bearer. Get them to look away from their poor sinful selves to the Savior, and the victory is won. They behold for themselves the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. They see the way, the truth, the life. The sun of righteousness sheds its bright beams into the heart. The strong tide of redeeming love pours into the parched and thirsty soul. And the sinner is saved to Jesus Christ. Christ crucified. Talk it, pray it, sing it, and it will break them and win hearts. This is the power and wisdom of God to gather souls for Christ. Formal set phrases, the presentation of merely argumentative subjects, is productive of little good. The melting love of God in the hearts of the workers will be recognized by those for whom they labor. Souls are thirsting for the waters of life. Do not be empty, cisterns. If you reveal the love of Christ to them, you may lead the hungering, thirsting ones to Jesus, and He will give them the bread of life, and the water of salvation. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.